Hi everyone, I am a new YouTuber, Arm. Today I'm going to review a cool harem animation called Hiruzia Yatsura, the male protagonist of the story. Ataru is a high school student who's getting well with girls. He is selected to compete with the aliens who invaded the Earth, but accidentally ripped off the clothes of the alien girl and won the competition to protect the Earth. The girl falls in love with Ataru. She wants to live with him and marry him. But the thing is that Ataru already has the prettiest girl as his girlfriend. Ataru is a skirt chaser and is often attracted to female strangers. Playboy will not be easily loyal to a person. Let's see how it goes in Ataru's exciting harem life. At the beginning of the story, countless huge alien airships came to the United States and the sun was blocked by the airships. Humans feel fear inside looking up at the huge airship. There are constant lightning flashes over the Statue of Liberty. Inside the airship, there is a group of alien invaders who are ready to take over the Earth. Meanwhile, Japan has not been invaded by aliens yet. People are having peaceful days as usual. Our protagonist Ataru also appears at this time. Ataru is a boy who's into girls so much, always staring at other girls that his girlfriend Miyake freaks out. To make Miyake happy, Ataru promises that he only likes her. Miyake's just getting better with her mood. Ataru is drawn by other girls and he ends up being slapped in his face by Miyake. Ataru is lying beside the bridge and he is very depressed. A monk runs over and knocks him directly into the river. The monk's name is Sakurinbo. He thought that Ataru wants to jump off the bridge. He doesn't want any accidents so he bumped into Ataru trying to do something good. The explanation makes Ataru even more frustrated after he experiences all bad luck today. But that's not the last one. A bunch of men in black rushes over and surrounds Ataru. It turns out that the alien leader launches a game. They randomly select an Earthman to play a one-on-one -on -one game. The Earthman only needs to catch the horn on the alien's head within 10 days to win. Once the Earthman fails, the alien will take over the Earth. If aliens lose, they will leave the Earth in peace. Ataru is the one who is randomly selected. Miyake is worried that something bad will happen to Ataru that she strongly opposed. At this time the daughter of the chief alien appears as the one that is going to compete with Ataru. Ataru is fascinated by Lum's hot figure. He is going to come on to Lum during the game. Miyake sees through his thoughts and leaves angrily. The alien leader announces that the game will officially start tomorrow. The hope of protecting the Earth lies in Ataru. Many aliens and Earthlings gather in the stadium, where the competition starts. Ataru surprisingly finds out that Lum can fly. He can't even touch her, even though Ataru doesn't give up hope. He keeps cheering for himself and fantasizing that his triumph will make him a hero that all girls like. It's a pity for Ataru that Lum moves too fast. She either runs to taste the delicious human food or lies on the rooftop and falls asleep. After nine days, Ataru still failed to meet Lum not to mention grabbing the horn on Lum's head. The alien leader arrogantly predicts that the Earth would belong to him for an interview. Ataru's parents are under a lot of pressure. Once the Earth falls, people will bloom Ataru. At the end of the game, the last day, Ataru is stressed out with the situation. To cheer Ataru up, Miyake promises to marry him as long as he wins the game. This kind of encouragement impacts Ataru is determined to win tomorrow. On the last day of the competition, Ataru runs faster than ever he can even reach Lum's feet. But to his surprise, Lum can give him an electric shock. Ataru, who is knocked down by the electric shock, tries hard to get up. He rushes to Lum time after time and he doesn't want to give up. Ataru is very eager to win the game and marry Miyake. Ataru keeps shouting to marry me. In a surprise attack, he catches on Lum that her underwear falls off while Lum's struggling. Lum is so pissed off that she uses an electric shock on Ataru again. She angrily rushes to Ataru to get back her underwear. Ataru beats her on her own game and he uses the underwear as bait to grab the horn on Lum's head. Earthmen win the game at the end of the competition. Ataru is thrilled that he already starts fantasizing about the scene where he would have hundreds of babies with Miyake. Here the accident happens. Previously, Ataru has been shouting for marriage. It turns out that Lum misunderstood what Ataru said and thinks that it is the proposal to her. She gets distracted during the competition and gets caught by Ataru. Lum straightly announced in public that S. E wants to marry Ataru. The poor alien leader fails in occupying the earth and losing his daughter. No one listens to what Ataru wants to say. Lum decides to stay in Ataris, and Ataru wants to escape but fails because Lum gets him paralyzed with an electric shock. This scene repeated itself for many days afterward. Lum is a humanoid Pikachu, and whenever Ataru tries to drive Lum out, Lum would use electric shocks on him. Later, Lum couldn't stay in Ataru's constant eviction, so she hides back in her flying saucer. She has been using radio waves to interfere with the conversation between Ataru and Miyake. A passing plane goes missing after being disturbed by the radio waves. Even the news reported this incident, and the host commented that Ataru's love triangle has affected the order of the Earth. 
Mom doesn't care about the scandal. She kept increasing the radio waves to interfere with Ataru and Miyake's phone calls. Ataru decides to hang out with Miyake, but Lum gets jealous that she uses high-tech devices to control the thunder and lightning. As long as Ataru is out of the door, he will be punished. Ataru's father lent his rubber raincoat to him seeing how persistent he is to see Miyake. With this raincoat that is completely insulating, Ataru has more confidence to do what he wants to do. Sakurinbo is also moved by how infatuated Ataru is. He volunteers to help, but helps him in the wrong way that Ataru is hit by the telephone pole. Ataru gets mad and knocks down Sakurinbo. Lum saw Ataru and Miyake running toward each other. She increases the intensity of the lightning and sets a large-scale power outage on the earth. Ataru and Miyake hug each other in the dark. At this moment, Lum's drowned by jealousy that she controls the flying saucer and crashes into them. The violent strike kicks up smoke and dust everywhere. Ataru can't tell and mistakes Lum for Miyake and hugs her up. It's Miyake's turn to be jealous. In the following days, all the happenings turn Ataru's family upside down. Ataru has to deal with clingy Lum who insists to marry him. This is just the beginning, when Ataru is in class, the teachers and classmates are holding back their anger. Miyake is even angrier and she cries a lot. It turns out that Lum comes to the classroom again and tries to flirt with Ataru constantly. The fact that Lum forces a kiss on Ataru levels up the whole situation. Everyone regards him as a playboy who abandons Miyake. Miyake goes ballistic. She even picks up the table and smashes Ataru madly. After the war, Ataru is pressed down by a pile of chairs. Poor Ataru is covered in injuries. He has to be careful with Lum's electric shock. Ataru can't cope with what's happening recently, so he chooses to disguise himself and runs away from home. Lum can fly and use electric shock as well as she gets a whole force that can take over the earth anytime. Ataru is no match for her. The idea Ataru has for running away not just failed but also showed in the broadcast on TV with a photo of his leaving home. Ataru bumps into a girl when he tries to run away again. The intimate interaction between them makes lustful Ataru a rogue. The girl's called Sakura. She's a witch, and she sees a disaster coming after Ataru, all of which are related to women. Sakura, who is frail and sick, is very kind to others. She has never been cured of her illness but still wants to help others. When Sakura brings Ataru back home to exorcise evil spirits, Ataru notices that Sakura's mother looks like Sakurinbo who seems not a good person. He freaks out to run away but Sakura's mother catches him back with a rope. Sakura is very stubborn, and Ataru tries to escape several times, but he is caught eventually. Meanwhile, Sakura's mouth gets swollen very badly just like a monster. It turns out that Sakura is much sicker than other people, and she is very weak like she is cursed since she is a child. In the short dozens of minutes that Sakura exorcised Ataru, she has had several times of headaches and heart pains. The exorcism ceremony was interrupted several times. Ataru is terrified by this strange vibe and he sees more and more goblins crawling on him. Halfway through the exorcism ceremony, Sakura feels that all her diseases have gone away. It turns out that Sakura accidentally transfers all the devils from her to Ataru. And then Sakura sealed all these devils but Satan hears of what she does here. Satan launches an attack on the private parts of Ataru. Ataru is sent to the hospital. His family gets worried about him being in a coma. At this time, a beautiful nurse passes by. Ataru immediately comes around and hits on the nurse. Lum is irritated by what he does and uses electric shocks on Ataru. Ataru, who is caught and returns home, resumed his life of being electrocuted by Lum every day. He asks Sakurinbo if he can seal Lum's superpower as he does to the devils. For the safety of Ataru, Sakurinbo makes a ribbon to seal her superpowers. He asks Sakura to secretly find someone to send it to Ataru. Lum's superpower will be sealed as long as Ataru puts the ribbon on Lumshorn. Ataru is the only person who can take off the ribbon. Ataru seems to see the life savior when he gets the ribbon and he coaxed Lum into saying that it's a gift from the husband to his wife. Lum falls for it. After Lum's horn is tied with the ribbon, her ability completely disappears. She can't fly in nor use electric shock. At this moment Lum hasn't realized that it's Ataru's trick. She shows off her ribbon to Miyake when she comes to give food to Ataru, which makes Miyake jealous and wants to stay away from Ataru. Lum has lost her superpower as well as her sense of security that night. She has been staying over and trying to live with Ataru. She finds out a letter from Sakurinbo to Ataru. Now everything comes out in the wash and she knows it was Ataru who wants her superpower to be sealed. Without superpowers, Lum just scratches Ataru's face with her fingernails. Ataru is already feeling guilty, and now he is forced to untie the ribbon. Lum restores her superpower and intensifies it. Ataru is doomed to escape tonight. Through Sakurinbo's divination, he foresees that he might be implicated in troubles and flees with his luggage overnight. The story of episodes 1 and 2 of Yuruzi Ayatsura meet to an end.
The animation of Yuruzia Yatsura is adapted from the manga that Ruriko Takahashi began serializing in 1978. The female author also created a series of classic works with different styles such as Inuyasha, Ranma, and Mermaid Forest. She can not only draw funny harems, but also play hot-blooded fantasy. We have seen all kinds of love stories under Ruriko Takahashi's pen. Classics never went out of style. Even though Yuruzia Yatsura has been serialized for more than 40 years, its animated version still has a high rating after airing. After watching the first two episodes, how would you rate this animation? Welcome to leave your answer in the comment. So this is the end. If you enjoy this video don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you guys think and we'd love to share more anime with y'all. See you in the next video.